Hi you all, today I'll be showing you how to turn your design into a stamp brush in the appropriate application for iPad. So grab your Apple Pencil and your iPad and let's get started. I'll start by making a sketch of the object I'd like to turn into a silhouette stamp. If you already have your silhouette of the object you would like to turn into a stamp done, go ahead and skip to the next chapter. If you have your sketch of your silhouette complete, the next step is to trace that with pure black in the monoline tool. First, start by clicking on the two squares plus symbol to add a new layer. You can tap on layer one and use this big N to lower the opacity if it helps you. Just make sure that you're back on layer two before you begin. Click on the color circle and go to value. Add six zeros to this hexadecimal code here if you don't already have that. Click on the brush tool, calligraphy, and monoline. You are now ready to begin tracing your silhouette. Make sure that the opacity is at 100% and bring your brush size down to something that will be easier to create your silhouette with. I'm using a 5%. If you've been working over a sketch like I have, click on the two squares, hide the sketch layer, and pinch all of your silhouette layers together so that they are on one. Okay, great, we're ready to turn this into a stamp. Click on the wrench, share, JPEG, save image. Click on the brush tool, plus symbol, shape, shape source, import, import a photo, all photos. Choose the stamp you just made, tap on it and two finger tap to invert the color. Tap done. Now we need to add some spacing to create separation so that you have a single stamp. Click on stroke path, bring the spacing up to the maximum. Tap on Apple Pencil, bring the opacity down to none. Tap Properties, choose your maximum size, and choose your minimum size. Tap to get out of that. You can use Stamp Preview if you like. I'm going to choose to bring that preview down to around 18%, and we'll see if that works. Clear Drawing Pad and test out the brush. Click Done. So the preview is still a little bit big. You can't see the whole thing. I'll tap on this again and choose 15% under preview. Tap done. And now it fits. Tap on the stamp again. Choose about this brush. Name it. Add a photo if you like. Type your name or a handle that you use on social media. You can sign this if you would like to and create a new reset point. Now your stamp is ready. Tap done. Tap to get out of that. Click on the layers panel and hide your current stamp that you had been working on. Plus symbol to add a new layer. Choose whatever color you'd like to and test out your new stamp. Beautiful. So mine would get um, this big at the maximum size. And at the minimum size, it would get this small. So 10% is obviously far too small. I think I will edit that in my stamp settings. Click on the brush itself. Go to properties. Minimum size, I'll make it 100%. 
Make sure to always uh, create a new reset point if you make any adjustments. Tap done to get out of that. And that's my new smallest size. Click on the brush tool, tap on your brush itself, choose properties. Now my preview is going to be too big again, so I'll try a 10%. It's still a bit big, so I'll bring it down again until it works. Okay, 5% fits in there. Keep returning to your stamp to make adjustments as needed. All right, you guys. This was how to make a stamp in the Procreate application for iPad. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know in the comments what you thought, and I'll see you next time.